Okay, dokey. We have superb fairy run on the Lizardman versus the Lasaurus on the Chaos Dwarves. Lasaurus taking a break from his corn spamming to play some chorfs. For the Lizardmen, with all of their spooky, scary buffs, they are certainly a dangerous faction. We have two raised on hunting packs with that armor piercing missile attack of theirs. Could be good against Dwarven Elite Infantry in the late game. Have some Feral Cold Ones, Skink Skirmishers, Colossus Hunters, Cord Waddle, a Metal Caster with just Final Transportation and Searing Doom, and then a front line of Skinks, some Cohorts, some Cohorts of Javelins, the Red Crest is Skink ROR, and that is about it. A very wide Skink build for the Lizards. On the other side, for the Chaos Dwarves, a much smaller build. We have three Bull Centaur Renders, two of great weapons, one is the Hash and Stark Ravagers, Metal Caster of their own with Plague of Rust and Searing Doom. Bunch of orc laborers, a front line of chaos dwarf warriors, and then two hobgoblin wolf raiders of bows. One of which is Oglacon's wolf boys. I mean, what are they? What, how are they different? Pelt wolf, minus speed, and cowardly despoilers. Cool. Cool, cool. Lizardmen moving up. Gonna use their little javelins on the bull centaur renders. And a good number of those javelins are going to miss. Plus, the bull centaurs have some. Missile resistance, so they'll largely be okay, though they're not gonna love taking this fire for free right now. They should be probably moving back to get away from it, or charging in. Either or. Meanwhile, a Plague of Rust overcast. Wow. Lowers the Feral Cold down to 30 armor. Overcon's Wolf Boys get them to rampage into the front line. And the Bull Centaur Renders charge in to seal the deal. And a Searing Doom on top of it. This is going to be a disaster for the Lizardmen on this top side. They already have a Feral Cold and routing. The Skink takes a ton of damage. And that Skink's going to route too. Damn. Good start for the Chaos Dwarves on that northern flank. Some Skink Skirmishes trying to get in there and get a little bit of damage out. Razordons firing away on Hash Stark Ravagers. Already getting pretty good damage value onto those guys. Half HP off of a 1600 gold unit is nothing to sneeze at. But the skinks in front of them have routed, meaning Hash Stark Ravagers could run out here and run into the Razor Round Hunting Packs, get really good damage out. And the Chaos Dwarves are routing off the skinks with some of that terror. So that is quite good. Hash Stark Ravagers did get onto the Razor Round Hunting Packs. As the Slon moves up to throw out a final transmutation onto the Sorcerer Prophet of Metal, just start poking him down a little bit. His Blood Chalice heals him up from the Searing Doom, apparently, that the Slon cast previously. And Hash of Stark Ravagers got a bit of damage onto the Razor Dons, but now they're trying to retreat as the Colossal Hunters have dove in. And shockingly, the Sorcerer Prophet of Metal also takes his turn diving in, but now surrounded by Colossal Hunters, he doesn't want that at all. Elsewhere, the Chaos Dwarf uh, front line is winning with those Bull Centaur Renders and Chaos Dwarf Warriors. They're beating up on the hapless Skinks, as they probably should, considering how much they've invested. And now the Colossal Hunters activated the Rampage. They are rampaging helplessly into the Great Weapon Bull Centaur Renders that charged over here from the north side fight. Rampage is worn off. They can try and get out of here. They're already down to half HP, and the Lizardmen did not bring any healing this time. Big Overcast of Doom from the Chaos Dwarf does a ton of damage to the Razor Dawn Hunting Packs because the, the Overcast that spreads the damage out more, but the Razor Dawn sit in a spread up formation, so it ends up working out for them. Lizardmen are up on the balance of power. I guess that's true. It seems weird. It feels like the Chaos Dwarves are doing just fine, but I suppose Hash of Stark Ravagers have taken a lot of damage from all these jabs getting thrown in and the Razor Dons. Another Bull Centaur Render with Great is taking a ton of damage from those Razor Dons. So I guess the Chorfs have suffered a lot. Shield the Old Ones tries to keep the Razor Dawn Hunting Packs in the fight. Will not be enough as their leadership dips and they do get going. Bull Centaur Renders get to fight Colossal Hunters, the Cohort of Waddle, and Feral Cold Ones. So everyone in this fight is the target that the Bull Centaur Renders want, so I guess they'll go down swinging happily. They will probably die for their efforts, but they'll get their value back for sure. Razor Dawn's still trying to stay on the sidelines and fire in, getting a lot of damage out. Cord of Waddle down to below half HP and falling. The Colossal Hunters and these Feral Cold Ones nearby are uh, just about a spent force. Once again, no healing for them. They are what they are. Bull Centaur's charging into the back line to catch up to these Razor Dawn's who try and get away. Bull should be more than up to the task of dealing with them. And these Centaur Renders did eventually route, but uh, 105 kills, not bad value on them at all. They had a good time. Razor Dawn's offered a lot of supporting fire, as we can still see them doing over here with the Slon, the Skinks, and Croxors. It's too much for those Bull Centaurs to deal with. For the Chaos Orbs, we still have a very healthy Lord lurking somewhere. There he is. Half HP, but he has that little Blood Chalice. 
where if the Salon casts spells, he gets some free healing. Still have two Hobgoblin Wolf Raiders with a lot of ammunition. They could be used to run around and kill the Razor Arm Hunting Packs or just offer a bit of poke there. And still have some Chaos Dwarves and Orc Laborers to fall back on. For the Lizardmen, they have three very healthy Skink Skirmishers with a lot of ammunition left, a healthy Salon, and then the Razor Dons have a lot of ammo, but not a lot of HP. And it looks like the Hobgoblin Wolf Raiders are just going to dive the back line here. One gets peeled by Blood Statute of Spite from the Salon and the Cohort of Waddle, but the other one gets through. And they're a little better at killing the Razor Dawn Hunting Packs than the Bull Centaurs are because of just how many more models they have. They can really swarm around these guys and actually get damage out where the Bull Centaurs kind of clump a little bit. One Razor Dawn is out. Do the Hobgoblin Wolf Raiders get orders quickly enough to get onto the other one? It looks like they're actually going to try to run away. That is fine. The only thing I didn't want is for them to not get orders of any kind. Another Overcast and Searing Doom does a lot of damage to that spread out Razor Dawn Hunting Pack, routing them yet again. Not shattering them quite yet. Bull Centaur Renders bravely fight to almost the very end against the Core of Waddle, doing good damage. We still have Skinks running around, kiting as best they can. Chaos Swords are slowly getting chipped away. That Razor Dawn is going to shatter, I think. Nope, just a natural route. So both these Razor Dawns are now, for sure, at the shattering point. Where if they route any more, they shatter. And the Hobgoblin Wolf Raiders are coming in to finish them off. One shatters in front of them. Plague of Rust gets the Cord Waddle a little more vulnerable to these Hobgoblin Wolf Raider bows. And Bl Hatches Dark Ravages are still chilling, hanging on. Six models left. Full HP Salon is holding up a lot of the Lizardman Balance of Power. And it's a little artificial, because if he gets in a real fight with anybody, he's going to get his ass kicked. Uses his last Blood Statue of Spite onto the Hobgoblin Wolf Raiders, but they've already shattered off the Razor Dawn, so it's too late for that. And then he does throw out a Bound Banishment onto the guys approaching him. No more Blood Statues, no more Bound Banishments, he just has normal spells. Cord of Waddle are back. Does he have a Cold-Blooded to give them that little bit more leadership to get them to fight to the actual end of their life? We'll see. Hash Stark Ravages throwing grenades at them. Their leadership tanks for a bit, but a charge bonus keeps him in it. And they run up to fight these Bull Centaur Renders, getting rid of them entirely still no cold blooded for them yet but they charge downhill charge bonus keeping them in the fight 316 hp they are chilling as they beat up on hash stark ravagers trying to chase those guys down i really want to see a cold blooded to make sure these guys are essentially unbreakable as they try and route off hash stark ravagers down to two models apiece one dark ravager here and the cohort of waddle win with five hp and then they are gone. Salon checks out another Final Transmutation. There's already a heal going for the Chalice of Blood and Darkness. Still, Final Trans will overall do more damage by a long shot, but the heal is nice to reduce some of the impact. Salon is reconnected with his three very healthy Skink Skirmishers. The Chaos Dwarves are doing what they can. Now, the Chaos Dwarves didn't bring Final Transmutation, so there's no guaranteed damage onto the Salon. For the Chaos Dwarves, they're relying on some Dwarf Warriors, some Orc Laborers, and their Sorcerer Prophet. That is it. We'll see if these guys can grind it out with the Salon. Or I, I guess these Skink Skirmishers. Searing Doom comes in. The Skinks are not going to try and dodge it. They're just going to hope that they're... Oh, yep, they tried to dodge it a little too late. And unfortunately, they actually end up going back into it. So they do take a lot of damage from that impact. And the Sorcerer Prophet tries to land on some. Maybe he can tear out them and then chase them off the map. He gets one terror out. He gets two. Shield of the Old Ones is out, but a little too late to save those Skinks. We only have one skink left. The other two haven't shattered just yet. Not shattered, sorry. Actually routed. They're still terror routing, so they're technically around. It looks like they're all going to rally on this hilltop and then fire back into the, the hordes. Another final transportation is out on the Sorcerer Prophet. He has 22 seconds from his next heal, so he's going to eat the full damage of this one. And it's overcast. Ooh, that might just be a game ender. Does he even survive? Final trans. Eight seconds left on it as his health is dipping, 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 dipping. Four, three, two... One. He has 24 HP, but it shatters him and ends the game. Rest in peace, bull man. Lizardman victory, 3,300 damage value on the Slon. Feels good, feels fair, feels nice. I'm sure glad that Slons are the craziest damage dealer in the entire game. That feels appropriate. That uh, a cheap-ish magic... Tanky caster guys, also amazing damage dealer. It feels fair. Not mad about it at all. Rage of Dawns did very well. Klaus Hunters actually did not get too much value. Sig Croc scores ROR did amazing. Uh, Skinks did their best. Feral Cold Ones did their best, but they got rolled.
Skink Skirmishers did well. Javelin Skinks did well. Fuck Salons. Prolosaurus, his lore did okay. His Bull Center Renders did pretty fine. His Wolf Raiders both did pretty well. And then his Castor Warriors held, I guess, and Orc Laborers did fine. Actually, it's the first time I've seen Orc Laborers really do anything, so good for them. GG. Rawr. Subscribe, yes, yes.